Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got a project that I'm working on with the CNC and I've had questions before about how I do my fixturing and I thought, man, this is the perfect example of how I do fixturing because I'm making custom frames, like picture frames. And in order to make repetitive cuts, it's nice to have easy setup fixtures that are very repeatable, which is what I'm doing today. So let's take a look. Here you can see I've got T-Tracks set up every so many, what, 11, 12 inches all the way down my bed. And what I have is a fixed area that could be a consumable if I need it to be, which this one here is just plywood. And I have a dead stop down here. You can see I, I have this one and I have this one. Now normally surface area gives you rigidity. So between this piece, the dead stop, and these two slides right here, which I did make uh, from carbon fiber. You can see I got a whole bunch of carbon fiber set up right there. It creates uh, an area where all I gotta do is release this clamp. I slide out my board, put the next one in, and it is gonna be a tight fit. Guaranteed it's gonna be a tight fit. But, it'll go in. These points here don't change, so my zero, the zero of the CNC bit, that will never change while I'm doing all these cuts, which is very cool. Because when you're making a whole bunch of them, like you can see here, I've got a bunch of different ones that I'm making up. And uh, this one here is a cut that I'm yet to do. When I'm done, I just pull it out, slap in the new one, push it tight up against that dead stop, push my Rockler clamp all the way up to the edge, and I'm ready to go. Just give it a nice tap to make sure that your Z isn't coming up at all. And slap on my dust boot. And we are ready to go. So I just got through doing that cut and I'm gonna come over here. And all I gotta do is sometimes you have to press rewind file, sometimes not. Press cycle start, cycle start again. machine does its thing this is my dust collection coming up straight down to my dust boot and I have very very little dust but guys that's how I like to do fixturing especially when I'm doing custom frames is I just choose static points and then one point where I can loosen it up and pull my stock out and put a new one in. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'll keep up with you guys with another project soon enough. Thank you.